Do you know where your drinking water comes from? If you live in the Asabo Bayfield and Maitland Valley watersheds, your water will come from a private groundwater well, a municipal groundwater supply, or from Lake Huron through a pipeline. I'm Alyssa Keller. I'm a water treatment operator for Jacobs Engineering. Uh, we're contracted by the municipality of Huron East to provide residents of Seaforth with clean and safe drinking water. I'm also a member of the Sable Bayfield Maitland Valley Source Water Protection Committee. On that committee, we advocate for protection of groundwater. Through policies, we ensure that groundwater is not contaminated from activities that happen close to the well. These activities include chemicals used in manufacturing, fuel oil used for home heating, pesticide, fertilizer, and manure applied to nearby fields, salting parking lots in the winter, and storing used oil from vehicles. I've always had a passion for water, wondering where it came from, how it got treated. Uh, through university, I swayed towards all the water courses that you could find. This is one of our wells in Seaforth. Uh, we use a well pump at the, located at the very bottom of the well to pump the water into our building for treatment. The Seaforth Municipal Water Supply is comprised of three wells drilled approximately 43 to 105 meters deep. These wells are drilled into a limestone aquifer that runs under the soil in our area. The aquifer isn't quite like a pool of water in the ground, but is more cracks in the ground in which the water flows through and eventually empties into Lake Huron. This water is approximately 500 years old. This is the Seaforth Water Treatment Facility. So this facility provides all the residents of Seaforth with clean and safe drinking water. As well, there's a water tower located in Seaforth for storage. Why don't you come inside with me and I'll show you what I do. We're now in the Seaforth Water Treatment Plant. The water is still considered to be raw water at this point because it has not yet been treated. Seaforth's three wells are all separate. They can operate one well at a time or we can operate more in unison depending on Seaforth's need for water. Each well is equipped with a flow meter to determine how much water is being pumped and how much water is being used daily by Seaforth. Weekly, the raw water is tested for bacteria, viruses, and parasites. As well, the turbidity is also tested. Turbidity is small particles in the water that do not settle out. These particles can shield chlorine from properly disinfecting the water. These are chemical pumps that Seaforth treatment. Here are chlorine pumps. We have two. Um, one always runs duty, the other is our backup pump just in case. Sodium silicate also gets added to Seaforth's water for iron sequestering. The use of sodium silicate in water treatment reduces chlorine demand and controls for discoloration of water and mineral buildup within the distribution pipes. There are three silicate pumps in Seaforth. Each are set to the specific water quality properties of each well. After disinfection and the addition of sodium silicate, the now treated water is stored in an underground reservoir on site. This reservoir allows for the bulk storage of water and gives contact time for disinfection to occur. After the contact time has been reached and Seaforth needs water, three high lift pumps will pressurize the water and allow it capable of being delivered to the first customer and the water tower. Prior to the water reaching the first resident of Seaforth, the chlorine residual is continuously monitored and we have a flow meter to monitor how much water the town of Seaforth is using. At this point, the water is now treated and safe for drinking and can be delivered for consumption. This is the SCUBA system. This program controls all the automation for the water treatment. The entire system is monitored by SCADA. This program allows for the programming of when the pumps turn on and off, how much water is pumped, and how much chlorine will be required to reach the desired residual. This system is also capable of generating alarms should something not be running correctly and needs operator oversight. The system is able to be accessed off our phones and laptops so that we can remotely check the system and receive alarms. As operators, we are on call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to provide clean and safe drinking water.
This is the Seaforth water tower. Its purpose is for water storage, firefighting purposes, and to create pressure in your house. The water in the water tower is actually stored at the very top of the tower. That way when it arrives at your house, it, the water is pressurized. Thank you for joining us on this tour of how Seaforce water is treated. I hope you understand and appreciate how much hard work goes into treating Seaforce water and providing clean and safe drinking water all around. For more information, please visit sourcewaterinfo.on.ca.